Welcome back. There we go again with another challenge uh, from the fundamentals pathway. In this room, all the new room's name is Toys Russ. And in this room, you will learn the basic use of the most common penetration testing tools. As you can see here, in this room, we're going to use directory search, Hydra, Nmap, Nikto, and Metasploit to answer the questions below. The objective of this room is to teach you how to basically use the penetration or the most common penetration testing tools. Uh, so if this is your first time using these tools or if you're trying to improve yourself uh, learning how to use these tools, then this video is for you. Or if you're trying just to solve the questions of this room, then also this video is for you. So basically, let's get started. So first deploy the machine and start answering the questions. The first question is what directory can you find that begins with G. So we've got a target and the target IP address is here. So what we do is we scan with Nmap and here is the results of the Nmap scan. We see we've got 22 ports open on SSH and we've got 80 on HTTP. We've got also another port running a web server which is 1234. We've got also a port 8009 running some Apache service, and that's it. So since the question is asking about a directory, what directory can you find? It means that we have to uh, search for directories and files using directory brute force tool, such as, such as GoBuster or directory buster. So we can just issue sudo go buster like that, and don't forget, to specify the word list using the option dash w and specifying the URL, the target using dash u and specifying the keyword dir indicating that you're scanning for directories. So for me, all I have to do here is just to change the IP address. And I enter. And you just wait for the directories to be found. So as you can see here, we've got the first hit, which marks the first directory that has been found. It is guidelines, which is the answer for the first question. Now, the second question is, whose name can you find from this directory? So we have to access that directory to find out what contents it displays. So let's take the IP, the full port, or the full address for the URL, and um, go to browser type guidelines. I think I have mistyped the word. Go back. So, hi Bob, or hey Bob, did you update that Tomcat server? So the name is Bob. Pretty easy question. What directory has basic authentication? So let's get back to the results of directory search and see what are or what other directories have been found. So we have another one, slash protected. So if you try to access slash protected to see if it is actually protected as it claims. So indeed it is protected. So which is the which is the answer for the question? What is Bob's password to the protected part of the website? Now here comes the uh, next tool uh, that we have to use in this scenario, which is Hydra. The uh, objective of Hydra is to find out the password or to crack the password of specific service. In our case, we're aiming to crack uh, a password for an HTTP service. So let's open a new tab. Uh, or let's um, finish the directory search. I think we don't we are, we are not interested anymore in continuing the search, so we cancel that, and we type Hydra L Bob P to specify the password file. User share word lists rock you, and we type dash F to specify the target. 
the target IP address is here copy it and then we specify the request normally when we crack online forms the request or HTTP request is post but this time it is get right so what we do here for this for HTTP basic authentication this is called HTTP basic authentication the HTTP method is HTTP get and we specify that directory so protected and easy enough we found the password which is bubbles now let's try to log in bub bubbles and we have got access to the directory this protected page has now moved to a different port okay so the password is bubbles what other port that serves a web service is open on the machine now here we get back with nmap scan And we again take a look at the results. We see there is another web service running uh, Apache Tomcat, and it is on port 1234. So the port is 1234. Going to the service running on that port, what is the name of and the version of the software? The answer format, full name of the service slash version. So back to the results here, if we examine the uh, title, in at HTTP title, we have Apache Tomcat slash 7088. Let's try to access that. And indeed, there is a Apache Tomcat running. And if you don't want to answer from the nmap scan, you can just access the port. And you see here is the answer, the software name slash the version. Use Nikto with the credentials you have found and scan the manager HTML directory on the port found above. So here we are talking about something called authenticated scans. Okay, In authenticated scans, we aim to scan areas of the web application or the web server where uh, there is a, a set of credentials that need to be needs to be entered. So we're back here and if we type slash manager HTML as you can see here we have to enter the password so in order to scan this URL with a tool like Nikto okay we have to provide the username and password in order for Nikto to uh, scan the directory effectively and display all of the vulnerabilities uh, beforehand we know that the password is Bob bubbles Okay, we've got access, but now we need to scan this. So we take this, copy the directory, and go back to the shell. Nikto or sudo nikto h, specify the URL. And then we type dash id, indicating that we, we ought to provide a set of credentials. The set is Bob bubbles and we scan. So the question is use Nikto with the credentials we have found and scan the manager slash HTML directory on the port found above. How many documentations documentation files did Nikto identify? Let's get back to Nikto and see. Come back. So as you can see in the scan, uh, the Nikto or Nikto has discovered many configuration files. Uh, the scan will take some time to finish to show the documentation files. So I advise you to wait for the scan to be finished. But I'm not gonna wait for the scan to be finished because it's gonna take some time. That's why uh, the number of documentations is five, and you will see that after it displays the rest of the results, you can uh, find them by looking at this line. For example, here we have movable type configuration file when the scan finishes you will see other items where the movable type is documentation 
what is the server version uh, run the scan against port 80 so if you get back to port 80 you see the server version is Uh, 2418 as you can see Apache 2418 now what version of Apache Coyote is the service is the service using so if we get back again we look at the Coyote the version is 1.1 all of these answers can be retrieved from the nmap scan about the version of the applications running use Metasploit to exploit the service and get a shell on the system so here we go to the exploitation part so back to the shell and we launch MSF console preferably if we launch this uh, or let's keep it in the same tab MSF console So now we will look for the exploits available for Tomcat. So we issue a search on Tomcat type, or let's uh, specify the type of search, type exploit, name Tomcat. So we've got four options. Now the one that will work is a Tomcat manager upload. So we copy that, use now let's find the options so we have to provide the username the, the password the username the R host the IP address the port so we've got uh, some stuff to set so let's set first set the password to bubbles set the username To Bob and then we set our hosts to the IP address which is here set our port one two three four and um, let's not forget to set the IP address of our machine so which is here set L host L port being 444s is ok and yep so run fail to validate our hosts oh so we forgot to the keyword set so let's copy this phrase and type set then exploit so now the exploitation process uh, completed type shell id and you are the root user so answering the question what user did you get a shell as root and what text file is in the file flag so here we find the flag cd root ls cat flag .txt, and this is the text contents in the file flag .txt. so pretty easy challenge i hope you find that helpful and in the last video i'm gonna now stop the machine terminate okay now let's revisit the web fundamentals pathway and see what we have left so we've completed security tools vulnerabilities practice makes perfect now the rest is Avengers block I will be adding all of these videos old videos to the playlist so the last channels will be Avengers block I left you 
the introduction to Django since it doesn't have any challenge questions. All you have to do is just to read the walkthrough, read the information, get introduced to Django and uh, get yourself familiar with that. So the last video will be about Avengers blog. We will be solving a challenge like we did uh, in this video. So stay tuned and see you in the next video.